This video reviews the use of Syntax equations to solve a problem with a context attached. In this problem, Dan is driving two routes, X and Y, both of different distances. Now, one week he drives X three times and Y two times, and he drives 144 miles in total. Now, I can turn this into an equation, which is basically three lots of X, and two lots of y, he drives x three times and y twice, the total of that has got to equal 134 miles. That's our first statement established. However, in another week, he drives x twice and y five times. In this case, he drives a total of 203 miles. Now, to solve these equations, there's lots of methods, however, one nice way is to get the number of one variables to be the same, and we're going to make the y have the same coefficient, or the same number next to it, you'll see why in a moment. So if I were to times the top equation by 5, and the bottom equation by 2, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10 it makes the coefficient or the number of y's the same in both equations. However, I must multiply the entire equation, the top equation, by 5. So 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times 2 is 10. And 5 lots of 134 is 670. If I double the bottom equation, then 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 203 is 406. So we've got the coefficient or the number of y's to be the same, 10 and 10. This lets us find out one of the variables. And the rule is you look at the letter with the same number next to it, and if it's got the same sign, you take away. If it's got a different sign, we add. Same number, same sign, we take away. Because 15x take away 4x is 11x. But 10y take away 10y cancels off and leaves 0. And 670 take away 406 is 264. So we have eliminated one of the variables to make a nicer equation to solve for just one of the variables. Now 11 times x is 264, so to find x we do 264 divided by 11, which is 24. So x equals 24. I therefore know the length of root x is 24 miles. It's a habit to use a lowercase for algebra. However, for the answer, I'll go back to the original notation, which is a capital X. Now then, we found X. We now need to find what Y is, the length of root Y. Now, to do this, we pick any of the equations from before. I'm going to pick the first equation. Now, the first equation said 3 lots of X plus 2 lots of y gives a total of 134. However, I know that x is 24. So 3 times x is 3 lots of 24, which is 72. So 3 times x has got to be 72. So 72 plus 2 lots of this unknown number must equal 134. So to find this unknown number, I do 144 take away 72, which is 62. So 2y, this unknown number, must equal 62. So 2 lots of y is 62. To find y, I do 62 divided by 2, which is 31. So y is 31 which means that the length of root y is 31 miles.